Welcome to Classics Confidential and this week I'm here talking with Dr Eleanor Betts um, who's going to tell us about her research into the ancient Piscines. Um, first of all, would you mind telling us who the Piscines were and where they lived? Um, yeah, they're Italic people um, in central Adriatic Italy, um, kind of next door neighbours to the Etruscans a little bit further, um, further south. Um, and an Iron Age people, um, so pre-Roman. So um, they were living in the area, some of this definable culture, um, between around 900 BC and 268, which is when they were finally sort of formally colonised by the Romans. Things have been sort of snipping around for a while by then. Yeah. Um, and how much remains of their culture? What kind of evidence do you use to tell you about their, their lives? Um, most of the evidence we have is from cemeteries. So... Um, there are some large numbers of little warrior burials, um, sort of princely burials, so very elaborate um, bur um, burials with some various weapons and ornamentation uh -huh. um, um, incorporated. Um, not so much about settlement, right. they know very much about um, their settlement, other than they're probably pre-urban or proto-urban, if you sort of want to use those um, terms. Um, and then a little bit about their religion, um, later sort of from monumentalised sanctuaries, or a few monumentalised sanctuaries, mm -hmm. but again mostly from votive deposits and sort of mm -hmm. the whole range mm -hmm. from um, miniature pottery vessels, full, full size vessels, um, bronze votive figurines, mm -hmm. then later anatomical okay. statements. And, and so things. do we know anything about their gods? I mean, did they have the same gods as the Greeks, for example? Um, <laughs> <laughs> big question. Um, most popular deities, we don't know what they were called in Piscinum, um, but the most popular deities seem to have been um, Mars and Minerva, oh, right. just from the prevalence um, of the bronze photo figurines, um, sort of Mars or warrior gods um, and warrior goddesses. Mm -hmm. um, although another interpretation of those may be that they're just representing the warrior, you know, male and female warriors, you know, we've got oh, the warrior right. women. <laughs> yeah. Um, and then, sort of in the southernmost part of the region, sort of around the, the Tronto Valley, um, you see much more evidence of Hercules. And again, later on, as we get into the Roman period, um, you see sort of temples of Hercules cropping okay. up there, but then you sort of get onto sort of Roman and the, the fiercer area. Um, so there's some regional distinction. Um, the only named goddess we, or deity that we have at all is Kypra. Um, okay. Again, um, so sort of the, the name comes from the Roman period, so we don't. No, for sure, but that's what um, the Pisces called her. Um, but it's, and she sort of seems to have been sort of very much sort of, uh, equated with Hera, um, with Venus, Aphrodite. So she's sort of, you know, that's a real all encompassing you know, primary. Yeah. Goddess. And do you get visual representations of her then? Difficult, <laughs> debatable, <laughs> debatable. Um, there are some. Some representations have been identified as, as being Keeper, but there's nothing really absolutely firm. Um, and again, it's sort of really tracking back from the Roman period evidence, um, where there's sort of inscriptions talking about the princes, the sort of priestesses right. of Keeper. Um, and then if it goes maybe, um, it's quite a good example from um, Cemetery Belmonte Piceno of this sort of winged, um, or two ivory winged figurines, um, sort of flanked by two other sort of female figures. And, I think it's Delosso who, um, sort of early 20th century, he, he sort of speculated that the two, two small figurines were the um, priestesses and so this winged figure um, might be key ah. for us. So we've got things like that. <laughs> what do you think about that? <laughs> um, it's a bit limited. I <laughs> so um, what aspect of Piscine culture do you work on? Hmm. Is, is it religion? It is. That's not <laughs> <laughs> dragging off in its culture. Um... Yeah, so sort of coming at it from sort of looking at the sort of assembly from Italic sanctuary, sort of the early Republican period, and then sort of going into this region, find that actually they've, they've got you know, quite a rich um, material culture of, the, of their own, um, and a religion that seems very much bound up with the landscape. Um, and from what evidence there is of settlement and certainly from the cemeteries, um, the Pisces seem to live sort of along the river valleys. Right. So everything that's happening sort of is very much focused on the valleys and as maybe um, the communications routes between the sea and the, the Apennines. Um, and maybe they're taking some of their sort of gods and goddesses with them. Oh. Um, but we find um, some votive offerings and cave sites, but particularly in the south of the region. 
up in the mountains where sort of then they start to mingle with sort of the Apennine cultures, particularly okay. the Umbrians. Um, yeah. Well, you mentioned votive offerings. What yeah. kind? What did they look like? What sort of objects got dedicated? Um, you know, varies a little bit according to the type of site. So, um, in the mountains, in lots of the communications, it seems to be these sort of bronze figurines. Yeah. And so again, that's why someone said, you know, are these Mars figurines or are they sort of protective warriors, sort of ancestral sort of deities, um, yeah. flipped to those you know routes, um, trade routes, um, and fancy units for its. Um, Mm. between the Adriatic and um, the Western Apennines. Um, cave sites tend to be miniature pottery, full-size pottery, and then mm -hmm. later on, like the anatomical X photos, and yeah. very much associated yeah. with women and gynecological yeah. health. And are, are these the ones made out of metal or, or terracotta? No, terracotta. Okay, terracotta. Yeah. So, um, mm. yeah, big shifts sort of, yeah, from the, that we suddenly stopped using, um, um, yeah, the bronze. And figurines and, and some bit of concentration on yeah, and some terracotta, terracotta and some collects photos and figurines. Yeah. So, it, was there a, is it thought that there was a big shift in kind of religious horizons uh, that <laughs> maps onto that shift in material culture? Oh, just influence from outside again. I mean, there, there's a bit, again, sort of Greek trade was coming in through the Adriatic and there's an um, important entrepot. Dancona, so maybe partly that it's coming sort of influenced by Greece and then from other parts of Italy mm. later on, and then once you get into the Roman period, then again you sort of see the, the ex photos really sort of yeah. taking off. Yeah. Um, and finding them around spring sites as well, so that sort of, right. those sort of seems to have sort of followed the pattern that you see in lots of the rest of certainly central Italy. Yeah. Um, yeah. Finally, um, <laughs> finally, um, if somebody, if, if we wanted to go and visit Piscine sites or look at Piscine material culture, can you recommend some places that viewers could visit? Um, you've got to go to Italy. <laughs> 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 Yeah, um, the best best museum is the National um, Archaeological Museum in Ancona. Right, um, okay. and, if it, and you can fly easily into Ancona, so that's yeah. you know, it's, it's a good starting point to sort of give you a, a good feel for the for sort of the culture from across the region. They've got examples from throughout the region, yeah. um, and then there are a lot of sort of local museums who've got sort of the, the material from yeah. the, sort of the immediate area. Um, and so any sites where you can still see. Um, <laughs> sanctuaries, buildings, or we'll try hold the, the yeah. sanctuaries, but um, again around Ancona, if you go to sort of just south of Ancona to the sort of Sorolo Niumana area, okay. there's some pretty major cemeteries there. Um, otherwise, um, further south, Ascoli Piceno, again, good museum, you can yeah. see. Fantastic. Oh, well, we'll put some links so. to those places on, on our website. And thank you very much for telling us about your research and about the, the ancient Pisces. You're welcome. <laughs>